What is up, scent head, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and 2020's been shit. But what's been the best of it? That's coming up next, and this is Oh So Fresh. Yo, what is good, Fresh fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a Freshie. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave, and this is my channel, Oh So Fresh, and I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love. And I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me two huge fresh thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy the content. Also, think about subscribing and don't forget to hit me right there in my sensitive bell in. That lets you know when I'm uploading new content because who knows it could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. And today is going to be a rare opportunity where your favorite probably is going to be either today or tomorrow. So what we're going to do is have 2020's best 20. I don't do these big lists. You all know I've done a thousand lists, but this is the 20 best fragrances from the House of Dua, of course, because I'm Dua's champion in the 2020 season, which has been filled with great stuff. Maybe not some great ones that you didn't love, but these are the 20 best that I think killed it this year. Uh, there's a few that came towards the end that I really wish that we would have got earlier, but I ain't going to go into all that. So these are the ones that I think for me made the biggest impact with you guys, biggest impact on my nostril piece, my heart, all of this stuff together. So that's what we're going to do here. And of course, we're going to have like five honorable mentions. I might throw in six. Who knows? I just had to be a little random. But that's kind of what I want to get into today. Black Friday is coming up. I'm just going to try to help you, guide you along, and tell you what my favorite of the entire year is. This isn't of all time doers. These are just what dropped this year, which let's be honest, most people are in the here and now. What's relevant? What's amazing? Let's get into it. All right, before we get into it, and I'm wearing hoodie. It's cold in the Midwest. We've been in the chilly 20s. 30s. We had actually had some 50s and 60s, but I'm wearing my hoodie. If you guys don't know, I do have a little bit of my own merch. Uh, Scent Head, Smell, Beast, Frag Freaks. You guys know how I do it. So if you want to support me, uh, it'd be down in the description or right here. I'll put it. I appreciate it. You don't have to do it, but if you want to stay warm, cozy, be soft, wear your hoodie. All right, let's get into the first five honorable mentions. So I will say this. The honorable mentions are in no particular order, and I will number the order of actual 20 to one, which is going to be the hardest. And this is the truth of all the lists that I've done, because I'm taking the best of the best for me from Dua, and then taking the best of the best and making the best from that best. It's like an inception of bestness, which doesn't make any sense. But anyway, let me shut up and get to the honorable mentions. All right, now keep this in mind. This is just what I think, what Mega Dave thinks. Some of these are going to be hitters, going to be bangers, going to be fire, whatever adjective, whatever verb, whatever you want to use to describe it. They're all going to be good. Majority of people are going to love them. This is just me. So these are going to be honorable mentions. The first one that I have, River Fougere. This is Yves Saint Laurent's big hit, especially for barbershop fans that just love that. Riv Gauche, Riv Gauche, Riv Gauche, Gauche. I don't know how to say it exactly, but the thing is fantastic. It's a rival. Uh, it has a similar characteristic to Invasion of the Barbers. Invasion of the Barbers obviously is older. So this one is here. This came out this year and made a tremendous splash for people that love Fougere, that love Barbershop. The juice has been depleted down because it is amazing. Shaving cream vibe has a little bit more of a green tinge, a little bit more of a spice to it, but it is amazing. It shook up the world, especially because of how good and how coveted Riv Gauche, Riv Gauche, whatever it is. Uh, this one just blew a lot of people out of the water. It's only an honorable mention because I don't think it's good enough to compete with the other 20 that are in here, but it definitely is one of my favorites from 2020. All right, coming up next, a massive tribrid. Uh, for those that are new to Dua, welcome. Hi, I'm Mega Dave. A tribrid is three fragrances smushed together, and this one being almost the epitome of excellence when it comes to tribridness. I think that's a word, but this one, Poseidon's Legendary Chariot. Just, man, a lot of these, as I'm compiling the list, I haven't wore them since it's been cold or since it's been hot or anything. So I go back and smell. I just smell it. I look through. And I was like, which one's hit me the hardest? This one teetered like being on the list, but there's so many good ones. So this one being an honorable mention should tell you how coveted this list is, at least to me, people in Dua. But this one, Poseidon's Legendary Chariot. Poseidon, you guys all know if you've been around Dua, is Creed Aventus. The legendary part is there's two Parfum de Marley's in here, actually. So Parfum de Marley's Percival, 
beast. Most people know it. If you don't, get to know it. And then chariot portion of it is Royal Chariot Attar or the Parfum de Marley's Leighton. Those three smushed together into a beautiful, fresh juice that is just something to behold. If you are a fan of any of those or all of those, uh, you're going to love this amazing fragrance. Um, one that is always sold out. Doesn't get talked about as much anymore, but it definitely should. Honorable mention, Poseidon's Legendary Chariot. All right, here's going to be one that flies under the radar, probably didn't get talked about enough. I did do a review probably on every single fragrance that's in here, maybe one or two uh, didn't. This one was never released on the Dua site, so I thought about not putting it, but when we're talking about releases that are amazing, this one definitely should be on the list, but a lot of people aren't going to love this type of DNA. This one, called Stealth. Now, the reason why this is not up higher on the list, and I think this is probably one of the better masculine fragrances from the House of Dua, is just because the DNA is just not gonna work with everybody. It's not mass appealing. This thing has this leather jacket dipped in gasoline type of vibe and put over the fire. It's smoky. If you are a man's man, I'm talking about a man's man, you're going to enjoy this. I think this is one of my all-time favorite releases from 2020. Definitely one of my favorite Dua Originals that was released. This isn't based off of anything. It's just uh, masculine, manly. You're going to love it. It has this mezcal type of dry down to it, but it's not boozy in that per se sense. It's just smoky. It's good. A very, very nice fragrance. So this fragrance here, like I said, this was a limited edition. You may be able to find it here or there on the page if someone's letting it go. Maybe search around. Try some samples if you like to. Plug. Duosamples.com. Um, try to find things like that. But this isn't available anymore. It was a limited run. They're gone. But I had to mention this in honorable mentions. Stealth. All right. Another one that I didn't have enough time to play with, but I have to put it in here because of how good it is. It's one of my all-time favorite designers. Probably most of you watching, if you love designers, you've heard of what this is based off of, and Dua did his thing and made it a little bit more powerful, but his aspiration, Extreme Sport Edition. This, another one that took a work in, uh, because it's so good. You don't need to overapply this, but Chanel Allure Ohms Sport O Extreme, my favorite of the batch, if we're going along those Allure Ohms, uh, Edition Blanche. All of them are fantastic, but this one always has stuck out to be my favorite. It's piercing. It's fantastic. It's fresh. It's my favorite, like I said, from the line, so that's why it's here. It's an honorable mention because it came out so late in the year for me. I didn't really get a chance to bond with it, but I know a ton of people are enjoying this thing, and that's why it's here. Honorable mention. Fantastic release. His Aspiration Extreme Sport Edition. All right. Here's my fifth one. This will be the last one I do. I'm not going to do six. I changed my mind on it, but this one really deserves to be in the top 20. It's not going to get as much admiration because it was sold out like this and never was really restocked. So a lot of people didn't get to put their nose on it. So I feel like when I speak about this, and especially if he releases this again and again and again, and people start getting their nose with the cold weather, this thing is going to grow in fame. But this one, a Dua original, a spice affair. I originally talked about this on my live first, so if you don't know about it, get over to the Dua brand on Facebook. I do a lot of lives there. I've been sick for a little bit, so I'm back doing this big old grind. We back at it, but this thing I talked about it first, did a video on it as well. It's actually my last one before I got sick, so if you haven't seen the review on it, go watch that. But this thing, spicy, chai latte, warm, spicy, and a different type of spice than you're thinking. It's not Mexican spicy. It's spices and herbs that you would use like cinnamon and cloves and things like that. So if you love that type of fragrance, you're going to love this thing. It deserves to be on the list, but because so many people haven't got a chance to smell it, I can't put it up higher. I'm trying to go off of what I think is the best releases. This one definitely, definitely deserves to be at least in the honorable mentions, and that's why it's here, a spice affair. All right, we're going to get into the top 20 now. I'm going to start at 20, go to one. Like I said, to arrange these from worst to best is my hardest decision I've had to do because I love every one of these fragrances, thus why they're the 20 best from Dua. So don't take offense to it. It's just my personal taste. And actually the very first one that I'm putting on here, so number 20, I actually love a lot more, but I try to take people's judgments into account and think what they're going to think. And maybe I shouldn't do that. So, but it's still on the list. That means it's the best of the best from Dua. So getting into the list, number 20. Pretiosum Vetiverum. This one is that freshy. It's the one that smells like Mugler Cologne, some people say, or Creed Original Vetiver, or insert your favorite green freshy. 
This thing is amazing, it's soapy, it's clean, it blasts, it lasts. It's just something incredible. It is a Dewar original. Uh, the label looks dope. This one had that Harry Potter theme. So if you haven't seen the video that I did, go check it out. Of course, almost all of these, like I said, have been videos made into, but this thing is fresh. It is clean. If those two that I mentioned, the original vetiver, the and if you like vetiver, if you like clean, fresh, soapy, this one's going to be right up your alley. It's green without being super ultra nasty, offensive green. It's very good. Thus, why it's made it to the list, but only number 20 because there are some monsters on this and even freshies that are better than this one. But this one has to be on the list, especially he kills dual originals. This one, limited release. It keeps getting popped back up here and there. Don't know if it's coming back for Black Friday, but if that's the type of fragrance you love, Pretiosum Vetiverum is definitely one you should grab. Fantastic. All right, getting into number 19, one that is another beast. And when I say beast, this thing has push, has power, has longevity. This thing just made an impact immediately, comes back in, sold out. It's from a house that Masam at Dua absolutely destroys every single time. This one, Legendary Night. A ton of people want this. This has a similarity that some people say smells like fierce from Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know. It does have some similarities I can see. This is a freshy citrus, but has some spice to it. Pushing power. This thing is very, very up there with some of the best in the house of Dua with longevity, with projection. It's just an all around great fragrance. If you're looking for something that's going to last in the heat, this one will do it every time. There are some that are better, but this one definitely is going to get the job done. A ton of people love it. I think if you like that type of fragrance, this citrus with some spices, some push, this thing is amazing. Legendary night. All right, coming up number 18, one that hasn't been out for a very long time, but made an instant splash, blew up. The guy that's with this parted with Masam is a fantastic dude as well, has a big channel. So no surprise that this thing made the impact that it did. But for Aventus lovers, this is one that's going to change up a little bit. And I know it's an inspiration fragrance, kind of, but really what he did with it is almost very original. This one, you've heard about it, Moda Elixir. So this thing, a hurt and put on it, cool looking bottle, yeah, 100 ml. You heard that pop. This is a resurrection, if you will, of Creed Aventus, the older batches, the 2013, mixed with some of the newer, sweeter stuff, the Ambroxan crystals, things like that to help push. So it kind of gets the best of both worlds from Aventus, if you like that. Now this, like I said, is designed off of a hybrid of both, if you will, so it's very original. Uh, but it does have these nuances of Aventus. So if you love that type of thing, you're not going to go wrong with this one. The bottle is gorgeous. The sprayer is fantastic. Let me show you that in a sec. Look at that disbursement. Just filled this entire studio up with stuff. So if you are a fan of Aventus, if you love that, you're going to love this. Looks beautiful on your display as well. So one that, like I said, is kind of a newcomer, but made a huge splash. Moda Elixir. All right, getting into number 17. This one's going to seem a little bit biased because my all-time favorite fragrance of all time. Masam over at Dua literally did it for me because I asked for it. But he did such a good job on this that it has to be one of the greatest releases because of the popularity of this fragrance and then how good he killed it in a great way. It's going to be on the list, especially if it's a Mega Day fragrance. Hashtag candy. This thing here um, has heart strings that pull for me. It's fantastic. If you love melon, if you love freshies like this is fantastic. Spring and summer scent. I think you're not going to find too many people that dislike this, especially if you were one of the ones that waited for this to fully macerate to get to its full potential. That's when you're going to get the real surprise. This is really, really old. Now I have multiple bottles. Obviously, this is just an amazing fragrance. But if you are a fan of Liz Claiborne's Candies for Men, you're going to love this. It has an amped up watermelon. It's fresh. Is clean. I don't know if it's going to get restocked, but if it is, and you were a fan of that in the 90s, you're going to be a fan of this one. It's amazing. Hashtag candy. All right, number 16, one that's kind of a newcomer as well, one that took Masam, I think, the longest over any fragrance to perfect. You know he's not putting out something that's junk or that isn't ready, and people are going to ridicule him. So this one, we knew was going to be special, but we didn't know it was going to be this special. This is already off of a monster house with a fantastic assortment already. This one. Ottoman Breeze. Now, this one already made impact, already has hybrids after it, but 
This is from Nishane's Hachivat. Yeah, the one that smells similar like Aventus, but not really. It's green, it's piercing, it's sour, it's fantastic. This thing is powerful as well. The original in its own right is powerful. And I do think just a hair more powerful than this, maybe. I haven't smelled this in a long time since I actually did the review because we have so many that come out, but this thing lasts all day. Just when you smell it side by side, it is extremely, extremely close. And I mean that wholeheartedly. This is good. One of the best releases of the year, but lower because there's some other ones to me that are better, but this one could not have missed the list. Should be up higher maybe on some people's list, but just it is where it is. Just be happy it's in the top 20. Ottoman Breeze. All right, getting into number 15, one that was gifted to me. So I nicknamed this one The Gift from my homie Matt. Fantastic. Shout out if you're watching, bro. I know you probably are. Uh, this one came out, been out. I got to wear this a bunch. This one's got some damage to it too. So for the summer, you guys know I'm a fresh guy. That's why my name's oh so fresh. I love fresh fragrances. That's what this is designed for. If you live in hot climates, you can still wear this thing. I'm saddy, saddy. That kind of matches with my damn hoodie, if you kind of be honest with you. But this thing is amazing. You probably already seen it. Azure Supernova 2.0. This one um, stole the show instantly. This came out and I just knew there was something amazing about it. And I was correct the whole time. This thing is just so good, it's so piercing. So this is another tribrid squished together. So the Azure part is the Giorgio Armani's Acqua di Gio Profondo, the new one, the 2020 release, the aquatic, not the Profumo. Some people were confused thinking it was the smokier, incense version. This is that fresh aquatic mixed with Roja's mega hit Elysium. So that's where the Supernova and then 2.0 is from the Poseidon 2.0. You pull up a little bit of here and there. I don't pick up a ton of pineapple and stuff, but you do get the Ambroxan the crystals. It's piercing, it's strong, it projects, it pushes, and it's fresh as hell. It's one of my favorites for the summer. I still wear this thing all the time. Well, not currently because of it's cold, but probably could actually handle it because of the power, but I'm rambling on about nothing because I can't wear this right now, but you can. If you see it in stock, I would definitely pick it up if you are a fan of those type of fragrances. If you love piercing in a great way, strong, pushing, fresh fragrances, this one is going to be right up the alley while staying salty aquatic without being overbearing. So that's this one, Azure Supernova 2.0. All right, getting into number 14, one that I did a long time ago. It's been out, tried and true. It's actually great for where we are right now in the fall. Depending where you are, you can pull this off wintertime. It's for cooler weather, but not super hot. It has this little niche. Otherwise, it would be higher on the list. I put some that are a little bit more versatile, but this thing is beautiful. Iconic Greenwich Village. This one here is just bond number nine, pristineness. It's Andy Warhol and Bleecker Street. So you get that blueberry, you get that plum, you get that little bit of oud. It's creamy. It's got these gorgeous spices. The dry down is amazing. It's super sexy. Women could wear it. Men could wear it. It's just, it's very, very nice. It smells elegant. It's going to make you think that you belong right there in Manhattan. Put this on six, seven sprays. If it's cool outside, it's still going to be great. Has a sweetness without being overbearing. Just very beautiful fragrance. One that you probably have heard a lot of hype for. It's sold out all the time. If it's back in stock and that's something that you're looking for, Iconic Greenwich Village is going to get the job done, baby. All right, getting into number 13. One that I think should go a little higher, but because of where it's limited to be summer, spring, Depending where you are, it's where it's at. It's in a good spot. It's in the top 20. It's amazing. It's always freaking sold out. Dua Essence of Water. Now, this is Aqua de Gio's Ascenza 2012, I think, 2013. Uh, something like that before it was discontinued, brought back that glory. This is like sweet, but not sugary sweet water. Cold clean, pristine, filtered, like running through the rocks, but no dirty filtered, nothing. It's just pristine, clean. It smells cool. It smells cold. Like it's hard to describe a color and a temperature, but that's what this is. Cold blue water is what it smells like. It's just so good, so fresh, and actually surprisingly very long lasting for what it is. Seven hours from something that's like essentially water. It's almost like you poured cold water on you with some type of weird mystery sweetness that's in here, but it's not like sugary sweet. So like I said, it's confusing, 
but is so good, not offensive, where everywhere over applied. If you want to under apply it, you're still going to smell it. This thing made a splash. One of my favorites from the year. Definitely, definitely. Dua Essence of Water. All right, coming up, number 12, an amazing fragrance. And this one is for the ladies. I actually have two fragrances for the ladies. Now, depending, ladies, you can wear whatever the hell you want to wear. This one is like strictly designed for ladies. This one came out for the ladies. It has lady in the title, so that kind of helps out. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. My number 12, Lady Elixir. This is from one of my favorite niche houses, Roja Parfums. Elixir Parfum is beautiful. Peach, raspberry, has this rose and this jasmine. It's fruity, it's floral, it lasts. The sillage on this thing is just so incredible. It's beautiful, whipping around in the wind. It's just all around an amazing fragrance for the ladies. It's just one that I go head over heels for. There's one fragrance that's way higher in the list, but this one deserves to be where it's at. When this was put out, it just blew my socks off. And if the other one wasn't listed, this one would be up higher because this one is gorgeous. You're not going to find too many ladies that disagree with this one. It's beautiful. And men adversely are going to absolutely love this thing. So if you love Rosia Parfums, Elixir Parfum, you're going to love this one probably just a little bit more. Raspberry kicked up a notch. Peach is beautiful. It's blended. Perfect. Get it? All right. And my number 11, so this one teetered on the edge of being top 10. Should it be honorable mention? It's so good. It's synthetic. It's a crowd pleaser. It's amazing, but it's tried and true. I can't turn this one down. It deserves to be higher, maybe lower, depending on who you ask, but the thing is just where it is. Savage Poseidon. So just like the name and play, the bottle is freaking dope. Mike Mixer did a great job. So Savage Poseidon, Dior Sauvage, the EDT, the piercing strong one, the old stuff, fantastic. And then you put in Creed Aventus, all the best stuff from it. You get the Ambroxan, you get the pineapple, get all the apple, you get all of that. Those two mush together and they are duking out this amazing freight. Look at this damage. This is me. Like I don't, it's a freshie, but it's a killer. It deserves to be higher, but some of those others are a little bit more tried and true. This one's been out for a good minute, but it has to be in this list. I couldn't have left it out. And honorable mention just didn't seem right because the other ones just didn't favor it in the right way. I don't think they were better than this one. So that's why it's here. So my number 11 fragrance from the House of Dua, Savage Poseidon. All right, that's going to do it for today. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy all your food. Try not to get fat. Wear your stretchy pants. Wear whatever you want to do. But I'm back. Sorry I've been missing a little hiatus. Had a little nostril issue, blah, blah, blah. I'm here. I'm happy to see you guys. This is my first video. Like I said, I'm going to do a two-part because I'm not going to bore you guys for one hour with videos. So here's my first part. The other one will be out for Black Friday. Enjoy it. I love you guys always. If you see any of these fragrances and you want to try them out and you don't want the whole bottle just yet, go to duosamples.com. Try them out then go get these full bottles. They're amazing. But just to be warned, some of them are going to sell out very quickly. So if it's one that you've already sampled, snatch them up. Black Friday is going to be huge. Enjoy yourself. Like always, I love you. Continue to be blessed. Stay fresh. We got, we show,